Hey everybody, Matt here at ABC and welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to be installing a shore power port on the side of our Ford Transit van. You know, the places I like to take my van often don't have those larger 30 amp services and so in my opinion there's no need to do a large amp service on the side of my adventure vehicle. Most of the times I'm visiting family and friends, I'm camping in the van outside of their house, or maybe I'm plugging in it at home to get the van ready for the next trip. So we're going to be installing a 15 amp plug, which I think is a lot more practical for your build. Let's get to work. And we're going to be installing the NOCO 15 amp plug. Let's get to work. Before we get started, let's open it up and see what's inside. So it comes with a sealed plug, completely weather sealed from inside and out. It's a simple extension cord, basically, with a cool fancy mounting flange for the van. And really, it's just a pass-through so we can charge our Goal Zero unit inside the vehicle. Comes with some stainless screws we're going to use for the install, too. Couldn't be simpler. So in order to install this plug, we have to drill a two-inch hole in the side of our vehicle. So we could drill that hole through the sheet metal of the van, but then if we ever want to change it, do anything differently, it's, it's stuck. We can't undo that cut. What I like to do is install it right here in the side of the plastics, and there happens to be a nice little port that Ford provides inside that can easily fit the end of our extension cord through there. So let's go ahead and measure out a location on our plastics to cut and get our drill. I like to install my shore power port lined up with my Ford rear door bump stop. I think it blends in well to the vehicle, and it doesn't stand out and look really ugly on the side of my van. So what I'm going to do is line this up with the center of my bump stop, and then measure out an appropriate distance, which, you know, looks like about there, which means it's about here, and we can take a measurement, okay, maybe five, six inches, something like that. It doesn't have to line up with anything, so that measurement isn't too critical. But we do want to line up with center point here. So let's go ahead and measure down from the top of our plastics, and we can see the center of this bump stop looks like it's about four and three quarters. So we can move out over the top of our tape so we can see that on video, and we're going to mark four and three quarters inches down here. Then we can visually line it up again, decide what looks like a nice appropriate spot. To me, it looks like right about there. And if you want to follow along and put it in the exact same spot, we can measure off of our bump stop, and it looks like we're about three and one quarter from the edge of the seal. Using our two inch hole saw and this center point, we're gonna pop a hole in our plastic. All right, that's it, we can take our tape off. We use our panel popper tool here. We can reach inside and go ahead and pop that pill shaped plug off. And if it falls down behind our plastics, we can grab it up from underneath. There she goes. <laughs> so we're here inside the back of the van and I just wanted to show you where that port comes through. It's right down here, and I'll point to it in the video so you can see. That little pill shape is right there inside the van, and there's one of those on both sides of the vehicle, so no matter what side you have your electrical system on, it's ready for you. Before I fish this cord through, I just want to point out I did add some split loom to this, just to add another layer of protection to that wire before we feed it into the side of the van. So let's go ahead and feed this through. As you can see, it's super easy and passes right through that port. Now we can jump inside and pull it through the other side. Now we can just reach in and pull this into our build out. So now we're just gonna feed that last little bit of wire inside the plastics of the van and ready to mount this in place. Now we can use the provided screws to go ahead and just screw this into the plastics, being sure not to over tighten. If you're worried about water intrusion, this would be a good time to go ahead and use some spray foam to seal up that opening. And with those last screws in place, we can go ahead and test it out. It works. With our Goal Zero safely charging inside, this job is complete. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button so others can find it. And if you made it this far, you're probably subscribed. But if not, join us. We'll see you on the next video. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button.